tried to comment on why he, he spoke too much, like when you wanted him to listen, is because people, you know, make press conferences for you and receive you. At the time, nobody listens to him, no matter where. Okay? And now I, I wanted to tell, I wanted to go on and, and tell you, you're sitting here for an hour, yeah. trying to give people the impression that you're the, the strongest and you're gonna kick the Arabs outside, and you know, if necessary, even use nuclear weapons or whatever. So you're gonna, you're trying to make this statement for the media here, and me as a Palestinian, I'm gonna make this statement that no time is between us, and we're gonna take over. The country is ours. I mean, you have your nuclear weapon. We have our strength in, in our soul and our education that you're going to try to deprive us from. If you hadn't come here, I would have paid you to come here. Because... <laughs> hey, madam, madam, please, do me a great favor. Don't be an extremist. <laughs> don't speak. Madam, please, let me speak. It's important that everyone here not the question here is not Kahana. She believes that the entire country is hers. I understand that. You, you don't have to tell me that. I know that. Try and tell that to Abba Ibn. He needs that lesson. This, this is the problem. She is, she is a problem. And therefore, don't expect me to say anything less than what I said here. She's not ready to have an Israel one meter by one meter. She believes that every inch of the country is Palestine. I understand that. So therefore, why should I bother getting 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 into an argument with you? Say you will come back. In the meantime, in the meantime, you're here. When I'm there as the prime minister, believe me, I will guarantee that you and your children and your grandchildren will be in America. Yes. <laughs>